Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss cortisol. Cortisol is one of the main neuroendocrine hormones which are outlined in my video on neuroendocrinology, the link to which I will provide below. The hypothalamus releases corticotropin releasing hormone, which acts on the anterior pituitary to release adrenocorticotropic hormone. This hormone is secreted into the blood, which transports it to the adrenal glands, which sit just above the kidneys. The adrenal glands are made up of a medulla, which secretes adrenaline and noradrenaline, surrounded by the cortex, which secretes cortisol. The function of these glands is to respond to physiological stress. Physiological stress is classified as any event that elicits increased secretion of the glucocorticoid steroid hormone, cortisol. The first stage of this is alarm. This stage is a short-term solution to physiological stress and is mediated by adrenaline and noradrenaline. During the fight or flight response, the brain sends sympathetic signals directly to the adrenal medulla which increases the concentration of adrenaline and noradrenaline in the circulation. These catecholamines act on adrenoceptors on target cells, increasing glycogenolysis, lipolysis, cardiac output and ventilation. Additionally, blood flow is diverted away from inessential processes in favour of skeletal muscle. The second stage of physiological stress is the resistance of stress a more long-term solution which is mediated by cortisol, secreted by the adrenal cortex. When cortisol reaches target tissues, a carrier protein transports it across the plasma membrane and it dissociates, and binds to its intracellular receptor. This receptor translocates into the nucleus of the cell and binds to the DNA, increasing the transcription of certain genes. This includes those which increase catabolism and cardiac reactivity to catecholamines. Also, those which decrease the inflammatory and immune responses, as well as any non-essential functions, such as the reproductive system. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.